Okay, what you got? Okay, so in the, like, I put designing. I don't even know what that meant. That word just came to me. So I put designing, taking something that's common and giving it a new paradigm look. Okay. So I put, I put info matrix. Okay. How that's kind of going to come into our visionary hub. Nine points of view. It's a, it's a training program I want to create with the Enneagram. I don't know what that's going to look like yet, but it's going to be points of view and the Enneagram. Nice. And then I want to create a points of view course around money. And then, and then design something about meeting your needs without anxiety around money. Because I realize how I worked with Kaylee as a type six, and they're probably the most anxious of the Enneagram types. Yeah. And how things worked for her. Like her dad would even say when she got nervous at a curling thing, he'd say phone Lori. Huh. So, and I mean, that's a couple of years of working with her and she, she would be an amazing testimonial. Okay. And it, it wasn't just around money. It was in life, but I'm just using money as a tool. Right. Okay, so there's that one designing and then I did yardening and I put a medicine wheel. I had a lady that does card reading in Camsack an hour away from here and she says she sees me creating a circle in my yard, but she says, this is weird. It has a triangle in the center. Huh. She doesn't even know me. She never met me before. She wrote a book called Angels. So I put medicine wheel, a retreat out at Burgess Beach, like because our lake is called Good Spirit Lake. So a retreat, earthing and nature and bringing all that together. Um, the Enneagram, a nature walk. And then I put, yeah, and that's it. That's all I put in that area for now for the yardening. Is, is yardening the same as designing or its own category? Well, it's its own category because it's all to do with plants and nature and stuff like that. But, but is, it one, kind of, is it one of the top five or it's a breakdown of designing? It's one of the top five. Yardening is its own. Designing is its own. Okay. And what place did it? Oh, is, is that it's, the place of nature or? That's a place of nature. Yeah. Same thing as nature. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly what it would be. Okay. Yeah. So, so it could be in the retreat yoga on the beach, for example. Okay. It could be my, yeah. Yeah. I'll put yardening slash nature. Okay. okay, and what was it broken down into again? It was broken down into the medicine wheel, retreats with earthing and nature, the Enneagrams coming in there. Okay. Maybe it's the Enneagram built into the medicine wheel, nature walks, and that's all I have in there for now. There's four things. Okay. Okay, and then on the bottom, I have money relationships simplifying money relationships okay this is its own category yeah it's its own category it's the one i guess that would be south enneagram of personalities discovery process beliefs around money slow down okay enneagram personalities yeah okay discovery process like really refining that. That's what Kaylee and I are starting on this week. Okay. Yeah. Um, beliefs around money. Budgeting. And in that I put design your ideal job because it's usually jobs where you make your money, right? Okay. So I want to I want to learn that better. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then to the east is coaching. And I put group slash organizations. And in brackets, I put convo killers. Because I think you're right, Elijah. I think that's the easy in. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't mean easy. I don't mean it in that light of way, but the, right. yeah, you know what it's I mean. Low hanging um, fruit, simplest thing to start out. Low hanging fruit. You put out the fish line, that brings them in, and then it brings them to bigger stuff. That was yeah. my blue cross in my company, my health insurance. Okay. Okay, and then I put so coaching groups with conversation killers, individuals and couples, values mapping.
um, creation of an online course so that it doesn't take all my time all the time. It's getting created and then it's people buy it and it's online. I've done videos like my naturopathic doctor. Okay. Mentorship, I put slash philanthropy. And I put Habitat for Humanity because I just did a four, four week course with the Habitat families and we called it Money 101, but it was bigger than that. We did vision board. We did vision boards. We did beliefs. We can combined a lot of stuff. So, okay. So that, okay. And then to the north, oh, I did designing. And then in the center is self development. And I put meditation, enhance my Enneagram training because I've, you know, I've only got level one. Learn somatic experience so that when I'm working with myself and people, I can nutrition and exercise. Oh, excuse me. Bless you. And I'm working with a naturopathic doctor. So that's what's really driven me to go. This is an important part. He wants to do work with us at the hub. We're just trying to figure out how to bring them in, right? Ally, that's what we're looking at. So. I would, I mean, I would bring him first as a customer. Yeah, okay. And, and then the customer, you take him through, let, let's say whatever program, and then he can become, let's say an ally or a member, but until he understands sort of like the framework or how it works. Yeah. It's, it's kind of like everybody's a customer first. Okay. And then they proceed into higher levels of engagement. Perfect. So he could come in as a customer and host a uh, workshop once a month, couldn't he? Yeah. Okay, that's what he wants to do. Here's the book he introduced me to, which is this one here. I think I showed it to you before. Okay. This is truly pioneering work. And that's Ken Wilbur said that. That's why we changed, shifted the color to teal because it says the new organizations are teal. That's funny. They're learning organizations. <laughs> I know. I know. Like, I and this is a good book because it's in, it's in um, like this kind of learning. Okay. Lots yeah. of pictures. Yeah. What's the, what's his first name? His name is um, Frederick L-A-L-O-U-X. Hello. This book is a world changer. So, um, Elijah, if you get this book, um, make sure you get this one, though, that's got the, the pictures and stuff in it. Okay. Because I think we could create a book like this around the new paradigm model. For sure. Yeah. Okay. So, and I'm also writing a book with Guy, my friend Guy. So right. this Wednesday, yeah, this Wednesday, we're all, him and I got the whole day booked. He's coming in from Lipton. He's a, he's a pastor in Lipton. He's written four or five books already. He's um, a curler. He lived, he's lived down in uh, Nashville. He wrote a book with Claudia Church from Nashville and Cla Claudia Church married Rodney Crowell. Guess who Rodney Crowell's grandkids are? Or grand guess who Rodney Crowell's kids' grandpa is? Johnny Cash. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so his book the masterpiece within with claudia uh -huh. i told them they're crazy not to bring that book back to the world today and create a course and they brought it more into like church because he's a pastor but he's kind of more of a new age big thinking person um he introduced me to node smith the doctor because node smith the naturopathic doctor moved to lipton saskatchewan you know how far that is from where where us girls are going to be um retreat that we're spending the weekend no. 10 minutes wow so there's something about the valley where the valley is in saskatchewan there's something around that area and that's where james archer that's where his new place is going to be his facility i don't know the name of it but how many square feet is it you know or? oh it's big it's got lots of it's four three or four buildings like and it's on it's on the lake what it's unbelievable so could you do a retreat for 20 people there, you think? You could do retreats for probably 100 people there. Really? Yeah. 
So I know I'll be, I know we'll be doing something with him because I know Guy and Node want to meet him too, because Node is a naturopathic doctor, but he comes from the background of addiction. So he follows a lot of the somatic, he does the somatic experience. He's worked with Gabor Maté because he knows addiction is a big issue. And same with Guy. They've started a, a group of men in Lipton, Saskatchewan, just somebody to sit down and talk to, like a recovery group. Right. Yeah. And then Paul Noyles, his book, Mistaken Identity, is a perfect example of kind of, I think, what's going on with all of us in humanity. So it's Mistaken Identity right here. You would like him, Elijah. He's from Saskatoon. Okay. So he he was, a, he done, he's done movies. He was an actor. He was Mr. Ottawa Bodybuilder. He was top-notch bodybuilder. He owned a million-dollar company. And he went into the gutter and lived on the streets in addiction. <laughs> and now he's um, a recovery coach. He's great. Because to me, people that go through it make good because they know what you're going through, right? Mm, no, for sure. Yeah. No. So, um, so I, didn't, I didn't mean to laugh at his but, trauma, but just, just the fact that so many people sort of at some point go through a, a rough a rough patch in life all of us yeah all of us my son is in a center in manitoba right now gimli manitoba he phoned me last night we had to do an intervention with him a couple of weeks ago and um you know everybody had to write him an impact letter holy hannah talk about tears talk about just everything and the only person he got angry with was paul the facilitator like he was the one that did the and you know who introduced me to Paul? Like a total lifesaver is Kali Christian. She's a shaman. She's Carrie's aunt. Huh. She's the one that does family constellation. It was her that said, Lori, I need to introduce you to Paul because I was feeling I was feeling helpless as, as a, a mom to my son. And I, uh, she introduced me to him and Tyson said yes in the intervention. I think I got ink on me. I'm so excited, Elijah, just where things are going. Finally. But I think allowing me to get out of LR future and not worry about that stuff too. Could, I couldn't imagine looking after trying to run that business right now in the midst of COVID and everything. Yeah. And Emmanuel's supportive, like we're looking right now, Sylvia is supposed to do a presentation to him. So once a month we could do a financial workshop, lunch and learn. You have access, say hi. So you, you have access to say, um, you have access online or in the session. You can come in because we can have 10 people in there. Then we can do a lunch and learn. And we bring the video in, the Zoom in. And Elijah goes, I'm game, you guys. How much do you need a month? And I'll do it. So Sylvia is doing the presentation for him. She's doing the proposal. He wants her to actually sell the concept to him. Right. Which is good. It gives her some practice right no oh, that's great um yeah and it's great having someone called elijah next door that's uh i know <laughs> yeah. no it's emmanuel oh, wow. like we got emmanuel we got elijah we got eben we got freaking e names like crazy <laughs> it's kind of cool i like the way you said though you know we set an intention when we're going to do the um when we're going to do the uh hub factor we set that intention and we start using some crystals for the energy. That's what that's what we're missing. Well, that, yes, and but I, you know, the it does get it make it closer into woo woo land, right? Where oh, they got crystals on a table, and you you really have to watch out for that stuff, you know, because mm -hmm. it's. Uh, hey, I remember. Uh, suggesting something about getting a big table in the front room so people can yep. see it from the outside yeah has any action happened towards that or no are you talking about the window itself like into the window or when they look inside when they, they look, look see inside it. you see like a knights of the round table kind of thing like like having the central table being like the thing right like when you just put that on a four footer it's kind of small it's not big enough for 12 but yeah you know the fact that you could sit 12 people around a big table um i think would be very it would be a good investment if you if you put some time into a asking a carpenter or somebody that you know who's 
good with wood to make that table. Yeah. Okay, so we wouldn't be able to fit a table for 12 in the front of the hub. There's not enough room there. Okay, in the back? In the back, there could be, and then that would be the only table and it would stay like that all the time. Yeah. Okay, so 12 foot round table or 12 people round table, because well, you're right, that, that one we have, it's comfortable with eight. Yeah. Okay. So we need a bit bigger of a table. Okay. Yeah, that would be a great investment. And if they can make it light enough so that if we have to fold up legs and take it upstairs, we can, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll talk. I'll find a carpenter. Bernie will make it. He can make anything for me. The only thing is he got a freaking job. <laughs> oh. Yeah, he built me a Kiva in my office. I showed him a picture. He built this Kiva from scratch. I mean, it's kind of a future because it's fixed there, but it could be moved. It's sitting on top of a big. Anyway, you know what a Kiva is, right? Those little fire, Mexican fire urn things. Right, right. It's, it's beautiful. And all I did was show him a picture from the magazine and he built it from scratch. Wow. Yeah. So, okay, I got okay. a good question for you. Um, sure. How do you organize your file folders? Like what's, what's like the in my computer? Yeah. Uh, I just organize them in, like I use Microsoft. Okay. And I just set up folders called um, in our SharePoint. Like this is my LR side, right? I don't know the hub is just getting organized. So I set it up like I'll have Elijah and then inside there I'll have, you know, the map, different maps and stuff. I've got the discovery process, all the parts of pieces that I have are put into there. So we're just getting that organized, Wendy and I. Okay. What were you thinking? Well, I'm just, I'm wondering what you currently have. Like, how do you set things up in terms of your file folder system? Like, um, yeah. if, you, if you go documents, mm -hmm. what, what's your next level in terms of? Um, documents would be, for example, it would say Inflowmatrix. And then it would have stuff to do the, it with the Elijah. And then it would, inside there, Elijah, it would be all the various things that go on with Elijah. Right. So yeah. it's, I mean, generally it's either products or relationships, right? Right. Oh, 2. yeah. 2.5 or 2.6. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And then if you go into that, because um, if you use the flow, like if you go 2.1 fields, 2.2 resources, 2.3 jobs, yeah. 2.4 activities, yeah. 2.5 products, 2.6 relationships. Then you're beginning to use the inflow for your file folder system, which actually is what it essentially is. Okay. So Elijah, where would I put, let's just use this one, for example, the map that was the past, present, future with the funnel. What right. would we, What? Where, where would something like that go? In products? Yeah, that would go products okay. and then inflow matrix. I mean, the thing is, if you go products and you go at 2.5, you go new paradigm toolkit. So 2.51 would be maps, 2.52 would be card sets, 2.53 oh, okay. would be game boards, 2.54 okay. processes, and 2.55 would be software. Oh, what was four? Um, processes. Processes, okay. Oh, okay. Well, that would keep it. So 2.51, 2.52, 2.5, like that. Okay. Yeah, because I've got, like, I have so much stuff and it needs organizing and we haven't even taken time because we've got a basement in our hub uh -huh. and it's actually kind of cool. And what I did, there's some stuff stored down there. So I put up a set of curtains and then we've got a round table down there and it has to be put together. And I said, let's get that table going down there because what if we want to just go down there and have some quiet time? I've got a big carpet down there. It can sit on the carpet. So, and then we're putting some drywall along, like it's an old building. So it's got big old posts. In between right. the posts, we're putting a piece of drywall because it's eight feet. And then we're gonna paint it with chalk paint and put words. So when people go down there and they go to the washroom or they go down there and they can use the round table, they're seeing this stuff. They're inspired when they see it. Just my carpenter's so busy right now. So he's not got, not got it done yet, but. Okay, so if you go into your documents and then you create I mean, 2.5, then a 2.6 mm -hmm. relationships. Yeah. Then you can go uh, 2.61 is members, 2.62 is allies, 2.63 is customers. Mm -hmm. And then each one of those you break down into potential 
probationary, active, inactive, dying, and dead. Oh, yes. I remember working with this one time with uh, Lorianne. Okay. So what is it? It's potential. Potential. Probationary. Yeah. Active. Inactive. Mm -hmm. Dying and dead. Right. So those are the six essential relationship states. See, and that's okay. I remember doing those years ago. I can almost remember at my kitchen table in my house. It's, I, I, you know, it's funny when you finally realize your madness or your, I found another book of a guy who's got, you know, a full blown philosophy that's right? amazing. And I'm reading it. And I'm thinking like all the stuff he's got to write just to explain certain things right. that are different. He's got some things that are different than every other philosophy. So he's mm -hmm. got to sort of uh, build his case. And the thing about what I've been doing is that I haven't really built a case. I've just been building tools, right? but not sort of creating that entry point of how do you bring these tools of someone's awareness in a sense that's what we have to create now right yeah that's what we're creating and i think that for you to look at again sort of you're different from like i'm the originator so no matter what i'm i'm sort of in some ways i'm going to know the most in other ways i'm going to be very blind to sort of how to bring this into people's awareness to digest right, right? i mean you guys are translators and and teachers yeah. So you're going to have to figure out different ways <clears throat> to present yeah. it in whatever way, sequence, order that you think is a good way to do it, right? You got it. That's what's important. And I know that day when you said, so rather than showing more maps for now, let's refine what people have been introduced to. Because again, I love the four maps, the choice. I love the choice, the flow the synergy and the harmony i love those individual maps you know mm. yeah and, and i mean for and for most people mm -hmm. you know that's it's an overwhelm or too much just to have those when in yeah. fact each one of those is you know breaks down into another map every concept on there breaks into another map so no well look at what i did with the synergy map i took the two economics and turned it into the discovery process so when we look at health, the health of you, like when we look at a group of a synergy map and we look at the six, which is health, stepping into your health, that's where Node Smith fits in because he's right. totally about that. He said the sad part with a naturopathic doctor is people go to all the medical doctors first and then they come there with the last resort. I went to him saying, I want to be the healthiest 61 year old that I know. He goes, it's so awesome to work with someone that already has that attitude to be the healthiest rather than wait until something happens and then come to him after the medical system loaded with you with, look at Wendy, she can't feel her fingers, she can't feel her feet, she's so loaded with chemo, has no nerve endings anymore. And they wanna give her more, Elijah. Like, but people can't afford the private stuff because a naturopathic doctor isn't covered under healthcare. going to send you um, so I think one of my number one things for me to do is create that video and do some training around the convo killers okay so I can get that to Rhonda when she hands out, because we're giving everybody like that, the takeaway from my talk. Right. Like, Ka Kaylee was going, oh, let's do, um, we're talking about um, finding your clear path, doing a, a plant thing called finding your clear path. Kaylee wants to do something with me, right? Okay. And she goes, well, let's promote that with Kaylee and Laura. I go, no, that's not what this is about. This is a talk. And then an offer to them, something given to them, and then I can talk to them saying, you know, if you want training on the conversation killers, then we're here for that. Right. So, and I, you know, I often think like they were talking the other day about individual maps and it's like, well, should Sylvia be the choice person? Lori be the synergy person? So-and-so be this. 
I want to know all four maps so that I can see how, because they overlap, like you say, Elijah, they overlap. For so it's sure. not about four people and having four different things. It's how do we learn the system together and then flow it into what we want to take out to the world. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Okay. So and that video should only be like a short video, right? Yeah. Okay. And is that, so the, once they get the condo killers, this is the video that goes with it, so to speak? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then we're giving them a sheet with a summary of each of the nine Enneagram types. Okay. And then on there will be the Enneagram Institute to go and do their own test. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So however that would look, I just thought it would be kind of cool when the convo cards come, they come in that little wooden box on a, on, on a right. screen, they come in a little wooden box and we untie the twine and it opens up to the convo cards. I don't know how that works, but. But I'll, uh, yeah, yeah, no, I, I like that. Um, so do I like it. It, <laughs> I don't know how to do that, but. Well, I, I have a program called After Effects that you can do lots of neat stuff. Do you? I'm not so sure. I wonder, I know a woman, Keisha Walker, who's a marketer who creates digital stuff. Does she? Do you want me to, I mean, I don't know how much it would cost, yeah. um, but maybe she can. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, let, let's talk to her. What's the worst that happens? I mean, we find out what's available because I think bringing stuff like that forward in such a exceptional way <coughs> is key with what we're doing. Yeah. No, I, I like it. I like it. I do too. And then the conversation killers show up out, out of that presentation. I have a gift for you, you know? Yeah. And then I'll talk bring here's the gift and it opens up these cards and then I'll say we we have training available at the visionary hub and this is what it looks like I don't know what the cost will be and I don't know the exact training yet so we have to create a bit of a training system for those Elijah or do you already have that well I have certain things certain ideas but I, I think it's um it's open for yeah. Open for creativity. I mean, there's lots of yeah. different ways you could do it. Yeah. Um, I think just having the cards and then having a, a set of exercises, which probably they do. Yeah. That's perfect. I think together we can come up with that. Yeah, I think you and I could do that pretty easy, actually. So in terms of the fractal five, you can see yeah. that you can keep breaking things down into five. And then it's at 2.5 products and gifts. You're always using five as that number. So that's one of the main things of the inflow. If you're looking at relationships, you break it yeah. down into six. You break it down into paths. You got the seven. So you're looking at each one of these parts of the of the flow map breaks mm -hmm. down into something that you probably already have a tool of, or if you don't, I do. That oh. helps you to further distinguish. Because it's like when you cross index these things, it's like if you go paths times products yeah so you get your five products and then you can look okay well path of healing path of suffering path of seven paths you can see oh this is how this product breaks down into those which is going to be different because if you're creating a, a the discovery process mm -hmm. and someone's you know on the path of suffering you know they're mm -hmm. broke they got no money they don't know how to make money you're not going to take them through the same process as, as somebody's in the path the archetype who, who they've got their money problem solved they know who they are, they know what they're doing, but they want to up their game, right, to a higher right. level. So right. you got to be able to identify, and that's, again, with, with the seven paths. You have that one written down, right? Or do you know that one? The seven paths? Oh, I don't know. Is that, is that like part of the hero's journey thing? In a, in a sense, but it's, okay, you might want to write this down. So path, of, down. path of suffering. Okay, the path of suffering, yeah. That's the bottom. Then path of awakening. Mm -hmm. someone you know there's if they're suffering they don't know how to get out right and then at some point through a coach or through some kind of insight through some methodology they awaken to the fact that they don't have to suffer anymore okay or they awaken to the fact that they're a spiritual being or they awaken to the fact wh whatever it is it's, it's their their latest biggest limit and right. then they go into the path of healing where they, healing. they sort of get more awareness they find out oh my god uh, I've got some problems here and I have to heal it. Mm -hmm. 
And then once they've done that, they're, they reach the path of transformation where they really look to transform their, their core trauma issues or yeah. whatever their, their core blocks are. Then they go into yeah. the path of the archetype, oh. have a very strong ego identity, <clears throat> but they're, they're not fumbling. Strong ego identity? Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is great. And okay. then, the, but the archetype is limited to our own sort of self and world. And then you're sort of like looking, I want something more. And so you go to the path of surrender where you're surrendering to a higher power, you're surrendering to whatever is your sense of spirituality. Mm -hmm. And then at the highest aim is path of service where you're serving the whole. Ah. And serving the greater cause or say it's serving whatever it is mm -hmm. that's bigger than us. Mm -hmm. And so these seven paths really dictate in a unique way where people are at in their life. And so it's at 2.7 path right on the flow wheel yeah 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 so each one of those breaks down into seven parts and then the word so seven paths six relationships five products four activities so then all the models are always mathematically aligned in that regard wow. to that perspective my goodness and if you didn't have this model this is a real key one for you right it's seven and this is very big for me you know elijah like i'm i'm thinking when you said when you're going through these levels and I'm going okay all of us need to know these levels because remember when you're doing that questionnaire and yeah. that questionnaire is like you know we want to know after people do and we believe that it's not that questionnaire isn't for right after the hub factor no there's something else that has to happen before the questionnaire okay they're like we Sylvia and I and Kaylee sat down the other day and we came up with some amazing stuff. It's it's at the hub. Okay. And it's like something had to happen in between there before this questionnaire went out. Like Kaylee's doing training with a woman that's a she does uh, she, it's called the um unstoppable entrepreneurs, the tribe of unstoppable entrepreneurs. And Kaylee went on as just a um apprentice kind of with yeah. her. And she's learning a lot. And we're saying to her, Kaylee, you bring this stuff back to the hub and you take us to new levels. You're going to be named in something that's going to change the world going forward. And they're going to say, you're going to be a part of it, Kaylee. So she called herself an employee the other day. And I said, please don't use that word. You're our summer student. You have an entrepreneurial mindset. You're doing business. Don't use the word employee because her mindset of an employee is you give me the work to do and I'll do it. Right. We want her to think big outside the box. Well, I mean, I would see here as like the fifth member, right? The beginning of other people coming in. Yeah, and, she um, really is. Yeah. Yeah, she's she's like the word like we did it. We did an inner group map of a synergy map, and it was her that did it with Sylvia and I before Carrie and Chris, Kayla, Carrie and Christy came on board. Yeah, it was who that came up with. We knew hub. Because Elijah, from day one, when you came to Yorkton, you said Yorkton's a hub. So that was stayed in me forever. Oh, wow. She came up with the visionary. Okay. So she felt kind of left out when all of a sudden these two went, Christy For steps sure. in as a strong eight. Here's Kaylee sitting back, believing that now I'm not a part of this, something that I feel I was a big part of, right? Yeah. No, I get that. And it just takes a while to adjust to, to as every new person comes in, they're going to ruffle the feathers of the people who are already there. Yeah. And, and you see, this is a, a big thing, I think, for you. Mm -hmm. And I think you already know this, but it, it's like the the people that are in create a certain culture, create a certain identity, they put a lot of work in, and they feel like there's an, a, a sort of an ownership, right, of what, what something is. And then you got people coming in. Mm -hmm. And again, if you guys just wanted to create a four-person team, it was just a company, and you just did the normal work, that's very different than wanting to build, let's say, this ideal shared knowledge community, which is at some point a big thriving organization that doesn't even exist on the planet right now. Mm -hmm. So when people come in, and again, you're sort of gauging who they are, where they are, like if someone's on the path of suffering, mm -hmm. they're very different, right? That, it, that if they're ready to go path of service and they're, they're just saying, how can I contribute in a sense? And they've already done their time, put in their work. They're, they're just real, you know, advanced beings, let's say. Yeah. So the people, when you're coming, when you're meeting them, and this could be part of what you're saying in terms of the, the survey is too much, too quick or something, right? Yeah. Where you're gauging 
really who they are. Because if somebody comes in and they got a lot to give, they got a lot of ideas to give, a lot of times these people are shut out and they never get the chance to say something. And then they don't, they go away, but they could have been a huge asset to whatever you want to build. But then these people come, can come in. Sometimes they can be a little bit too much. And then people on the inside sort of shun them away because there just hasn't been that good meeting point at the boundary of how this person comes in. And right. so your, your process to identify these people and then communicate with them in the way that works, right? For what is needed in the moment. Yeah is a massive part of this, I think. Well, that's Rhonda Rowe. Like I got more, more goosebumps in our last hub factor with stuff that she said, because we were feeling kind of stagnant. We had too many things, you know, a Father's Day, a Mother's Day, succulent plants. And I'm going, oh, it was driving me crazy because how are we marketing our Dare to Be You program, which is part of the hub? How are we marketing that when we're doing this and sending that out and sending that out? We look like we're mishmash. Right. So Wanda Rose said, I feel, and she's very godly, right? She says, I feel it's like a bow and arrow. And you're like this, and you're stretching out that bow, and you're holding it here because it needs to be held until you know the mark that you want to hit. Mm. I got goosebumps like holy Hannah. And then when I had lunch with her a couple of days later, uh, she, she, uh, that's when she said she felt like she was shut down there with Christy. Uh, so we hate to lose somebody with so much to give. And she's an educator. She spends time in Af Uganda, mm -hmm. teaching them how to sew and creating leaders so that she can teach the leaders to teach the students. Mm -hmm. And um, she's got a very big, big, I don't know what to say, how to say it, but she's got a lot to offer. Mm -hmm. And it's like, if so, all of a sudden she decides she wants to not be there because she felt not heard. Mm -hmm. It breaks my heart. Well, I, I think that that she told you is a huge thing yeah. because you, you can deal with it. Mm -hmm. um, right. I think that, you know, again, as sort of like the visionary leader in a sense at different times that your ability, like your mediation, uh -huh. your, your ability to, you know, create clearing convos, mm -hmm. to sort of mediate discussions, to find out what's, you know, What's getting in the way and and to make the little adjustments to make things work better yeah you know those are th parts that i think you're gonna have to play at a very high degree i know uh, especially as more and more people get in and and it's it's kind of like yeah um it's, it's you, you know it's it's pioneering right this is this is new stuff mm -hmm. and so so it's i think it's worth it, I, it's worth it. and <laughs> And just, it's funny because like the built-in communication system is there to sort of assist with what humans need, right? Like everything is an experience to learn how to communicate better. Right. Yes. And including all of us. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I said that the other day to the girls, I said, if we can't like, I'm not, I, I don't, or I don't want to run anything hierarchical, like. I don't want hierarchy at all. I want this circle that says, hey, we are all here in this knowledge community. We're here in this circle, but we're here to bring different things to the table because a little bit of, um, you know, Kaylee being our summer student, it's like this hierarchical thing. And I, I put her on a platform right here with me because that kid has brought so much to me as I have to her. Right. And I don't know, like Sylvia just loves her, works well with her. But Christy and Carrie don't. So it's creating a little bit of a um, animosity there. Hmm. And I'm working on it, trying to figure out how to work with this because they go, you know, like Carrie thinks Christy takes advantage of me, and I go, or Car Carrie thinks that Kaylee takes advantage of me. I go, Are you kidding? She'd be my biggest advocate out there. She'll promote me to the sky's end. And I don't feel that at all, but that's, but you remember, it's all about their own selves, right? Yeah. And I mean, that no matter what, that's kind of like the, what I've seen is you can have the greatest ideals, but human interaction dynamics seems to be our, our curse in terms of the, whether envy or jealousy mm -hmm. and, you know, sort of all the sins they talk about. I don't mean sin in a, certain way but you just 
foibles of being a human, right? Our shadow side interacting with each other. Yeah. And if, if everyone has self-development as an important piece of what they're doing, which I think everyone has to, then that brings sort of a level of self-responsibility to deal with the stuff as it comes up with, right? And that's that probably is the hardest part of this whole thing. Like the clearing convo is, you know, one of the hardest conversations to take place. And hopefully I can remain sort of objective and outside of things a little bit to act as sort of like a, if it need be a mediator or uh, mm -hmm. assistance in terms of bringing some harmony and hopefully, but. That just... would be great, Elijah because you get to talk to us all individually. And that's why I thought when Christy said, well, Lori, I thought you said we were doing individual. Not at all. I want to do individual. But what I saw is doing individual, then coming together as a team. So we all get, you know, it's hard with Chris Carey's in Regina. Yeah. So she's never been in this space with us ever. And that's hard. Kate, Christy, I give her credit, man. She comes down every week. Yeah, that's a, you know? that's a, that's a commitment. Yeah. And I think that, you know, given, you know, that Carrie's right in the middle of the beast in a sense. Yeah. Um, that she's, everyone's playing a different role mm -hmm. and has to play a different role in order, let's say, to do the bigger things. So, yeah. Um, I think if, if we figure that everything is positioned perfectly, but we don't know it. Yeah. And, you know, it's, it's more, I think creating that momentum of of the vision, right? Of everyone really believing in the vision and realizing that, you know, we don't really know how it's going to happen. And we, we might think that we know how it's going to happen, but if you create the container that allows you, it to emerge, mm -hmm. then you're not forcing it. And I think anything I've seen in my own world where anytime I try to force something, it just doesn't work, yeah. you know, and it's, it, you have to really create that safe container for people to feel like they like they're part of it right as as kind of like one of the most important things right. and i think from a point of view of, of the feminine right that you're a lot more sensitive to that and a lot more sensitive to other people's emotions and right it's, but it's quite a, a big thing to navigate <laughs> yeah it, it's very big and i think you know like i said when wanda said that about pulling that arrow that bow back it kind of made sense you just don't let it go and go anywhere you yeah. focus and maybe what we did is because Christy just came in, you know, she came in and then she was going to be like a bit of a facilitator to organize us. So I said, we went from here to here pretty quick, just with her throwing That's out true. what she does. Right. That's true. And then maybe we stopped and halted there and we didn't keep going. So maybe we don't have a proper vision that the four of us are really heading towards. Like maybe that vision needs to be clearer for all of us well i think that's probably going to come with the four of you together right that's going to that's going to ice some things in and i think you know a big thing is is kind of like again like sort of some people they get the inflow matrix or they get the tools or they don't and you know it's, it's each of you could go your own way in your own right each yeah. of you could also the four of you could create something together in your own right Mm -hmm. But the fact that there's this other sort of being here and tool set that either is valued or not, right? That's either seen. And I think you've been with other people. They don't see it. They don't use it. And then guess what happens? Things don't work out, right? Because the, the old paradigm stuff doesn't work for the type of people that you are. Right, exactly. And you made a comment and you said something the other day about there are people that they don't go with status quo and they're the one that follow the status quo. And so many people right now are sitting right here going, oh my gosh, I don't know what to do. We've got COVID, we've got vaccinations, we have new paradigm stuff coming out that's driving us and, and not me, like I'm so excited to go in, in that new direction, but a lot of people aren't there. There's Because Carrie was in a panic attack the other day and she says, I don't know what to do. You know, my partner doesn't want to get the vaccine or wants to get the vaccination. I said, Carrie, let him be. He wants to get the vaccination. Why do you feel you need to control that? Do what you do, get your vax. Don't get your vaccination if that's how you feel. I said, just do that. I said, Rob got his like two months ago. Everybody at the lake out here that we kind of hang out with all have theirs. 
And now they're teasing me saying, oh yeah, look at you're, you're coming in without, and I pull out my little round COVID vaccination thing and it wasn't even mine. I got it from someone else and someone goes, well, you get a card, where's your card? I go, oh, I don't have one yet. And I just leave it at that. Like I don't get into a big tiff about it, each to yeah. their own. Yeah. Each to their own. But the young generation is stepping up to the plate. They did 20,000 vaccinations on Sunday in Saskatchewan, 20,000 with the young people because now it's open up to the 20 year olds. I know, it's like crazy. So it's showing you how they're feeling and what they're doing, right? Yeah. 20,000? Mm. So, so that's what you said, Elijah. People who can't fit into the old system are gonna be sitting there going like, that's who we are. I don't fit into that old system. And I know Carrie, it's torture for her. Yeah. And she's right in it in the world of education. Yeah. So that's that's who we are. And, you know, maybe our target needs, needs to be a little bit more refined on what that looks like as the hub. Well, I think, you know, if, if you're looking, let's say at, employment services or you're looking to be a new way of helping people get a new job kind of thing yeah. right mm -hmm. there's, there's a lot of people out of work there's no new jobs you know the governments or whoever supposedly want to support initiatives like that yeah um but you know again there's like over 100 million people perhaps out of work right now and and, and you don't have to re sort of just reserve yourself to saskatchewan i mean there, there's a whole whole world out there right Oh, we're, we're way beyond, we'll be way beyond Saskatchewan. You made that comment. Um, you don't, you don't even realize, I don't think Elijah, because you just speak so from your heart and things stand out and I'm going, okay, Elijah said the visionary hub is a, like a lighthouse mm -hmm. looking out over the whole country or the whole world or the whole province or this whole community, right? Mm -hmm. We're the lighthouse and we're the ones that are going to shine. Mm -hmm. And, but we have to have our shining signature selves in a in the right element because if it just brought with Father's Day, Mother's Day, this that little scattered things, then it's not fitting who we really are. Like we knew we just wanted people to be be walking into the space, learning about the space, but we can do that differently. Mm. So we canceled the Father's Day. Like we didn't even announce it, but we dropped it to Father's Day event. Because we just thought, you know, events, what do events look like at the hub? We're doing a music event at the end of May because the city's art, art, the art and culture side of the city, they're coming out and doing music. And we said, Sylvia applied and we got it. So we're just going to have out back of the shop in the back alley where we ran the rally in the alley event. We're mm -hmm. just going to have music and invite people and you can't have food and stuff. So it's just a way to hang out and listen to local musicians. Right. I don't know what we'll make it look like, but you have to have, you know, your 12 feet or 10 feet. I don't even know what it is, but you know what? I, I was listening to a guy through, oh, um, you know, Vichy um, from Mind Valley. So he had a guy talk. I just listened to an interview with him and he said that there's two top things that people are that no longer serve people. And they said two things that they're finding out, top two concerns in areas of your life out of 207 areas was to have better focus. And, and number two was becoming overwhelmed. How do you overcome overwhelm? And I thought, holy shit, those two things, better focus and how to overcome overwhelm. Mm. Don't you think those are big topics for this time? Yeah, they are. Um... Like, like, I think when we talk about, like, I took Lorianne to Vancouver one time. We went to Richmond to a course with a lady. I can't even remember her name, but she said, you need tantalizing titles. No matter what you're doing, when you're doing it, it has to have a tantalizing title. Like, and that would, are you feeling like you're in overwhelm? And this guy's main thing is becoming focused and indistractable. So what's distracting you? What's pulling you away from the things that you need to be paying attention to, right? Well, if you look at um, overwhelm and distraction as two of the combo killers, 
yeah. that you could link that into the combo killers. Yeah. This could be the USP for the combo killers kind of thing. Oh. And yes. that video that we're gonna, we got to do. Yeah, because look what happened to Christy. She says, can we talk later so that you can explain this better to me because she's such an action person, right? Yeah. So it even happened for her. Oh, that's that's cool. So a lot, everything that we're looking at and paying attention to, and then focus, there's a word focus in there. Well, and if you look at focusing conversation type and value focus, you can do the double focus, focus, and then focus in convo. And then I'll do a little post after on Facebook okay. just to show you what I'm thinking. Okay. Um, okay. Actually, we're we're a lot overboard. And actually, I was supposed to see Carrie. <laughs> Carrie oh, 11. Shoot. So um, she doesn't look like uh, she's contacting me. So, um, but we're sp I spoke, supposed to be talking to her. Or wait, wait a second. Wait. Eleven. No, I got her at eleven. I get okay. No, we're fine. Yeah. Your things. I can't hear you. Your uh, microphones. I can't hear you. Your microphone, lower left. Why did that happen? I don't know. Shut me up. <laughs> Must be my Buddha over there. I didn't do it. <laughs> okay, so we got we 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 got through a lot today. We did. And um, I think if you type that up nice, the fractal okay. five. Okay. Um, and I'll send you some blanks to fractal five it in a nice form. Good, thank you. Because I've just got it written on blank paper. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay, okay. I'll, I'll send you some some blank fractal fives. Okay, thank you. And I'll run those off right away if you can send those pretty quick. Yeah, I'll send it right away. Okay. Okay. Awesome, Elijah. So are you good with like do one call with each of us and then do a group call? Are yeah. you gonna be on with us when we're in our retreat? Yeah, I mean, I was thinking we should probably like one thing if you just write this down quickly if you yeah. look at i don't know is are you doing it like friday saturday sunday or thursday friday so the 28th and the 29th and then we leave on the sunday so it's the friday saturday okay because if you look at, at 10 o'clock friday sorry what's that we can check in at 10 a.m friday oh, okay but what time carrie will get there we don't know we're trying to talk her into taking the afternoon off oh, okay yeah I was just thinking you could break the week down into the, the seven steps and you could uh, like start, set up, build up, crescendo, <clears throat> and look at your time periods, ease out, connect and unify. So you can look at planning a weekend workshop, kind of like, again, once you, the more you use the seven stages, yeah. the better you get at it. So if you uh, okay. look at this weekend. Yeah. So we'll I take that with us. We'll take, we'll use that theory I think do us doing a synergy map because yes Kaylee and I and Sylvia did one but us four have not done one yeah that's huge yeah that's huge that's what I think that's a missing link right now and and, and I would say like rather than just a quick divination <laughs> you might I mean there's a lot of different ways you could do it but um I would put let's say if you were leading a workshop for other teams to do the synergy map you mm -hmm. I find that the more time people put into like the parts and the pieces, mm -hmm. like sometimes divination, it's too quick. It's too good. Yeah, it it's, it's like, it takes 10 minutes and, you know, so anyway, we can talk more about that. Um, I'm thinking, like you said, maybe out of the four of us, we choose the values that are near and dear to our heart ahead of time going through them and then have them, those cards in the divination. For sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay, well, that sounds good. But just like maybe some kind of like to go from like, because there's four of you and maybe you put three in each or something and then to go from 20 to 10 to five, yeah. like have some sort of like neat fun process to sort of like whittle down your choices. Yeah. So it that's isn't just with, so quick. That's exactly what we did. We each chose a value for each of the nine spaces, 10 spaces, and then oh. we turned them over and then we talked, we read them out, we went through it. How does that look in the field of marketing? How does that look in the field oh, okay. of economic or money? And we read through it. And then the three of us agreed on what value fit each area. Okay, that's a good way. 
I like it that. It was fun. We had a lot of fun doing that. Okay. 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 That sounds that sounds perfect. Yeah, I think so. And like you said, it takes more time and it gets everybody feels they're a part of it. And then we're making a decision as a group of four on which value we feel fits there. Yeah. Okay. Awesome, Elijah. Thank you. Have a good call with Carrie. She's pretty damn awesome. She's true. She, I, I can't wait to see what she puts in the middle of her map of five. Right. Because she's got writing, production, coaching, choreography, and spirituality. Right. I can't wait to see what she puts in the middle. Like me, I'm going, well, spirituality, of course, right. in the middle. But right. she, she has to remember that perfection isn't authentic. <laughs> <laughs> is that, is she a one? She is not a one. She says she's a nine. She could be a nine with a one, but you know, she did it years ago. You know, when we did, when we did Elijah, the mapping with Lorianne and all that crew, well, she was one of my practice maps. I oh. did nine of my practice maps, eight of them. I just didn't do you and Lorianne. And she was one of them. And she had done the test at that time. She was a type three because she's a high achiever. Oh, okay. And she would go to nine in growth so it's a three that wants to be more nine in their life with a one wing which is perfectionism oh okay yeah but you know when you you triggered her because in the basement that night when we had all those people we all choose values cards guess what card she chose ruthlessness and she goes why would i pick it? and that got her out of the catholic school system that card oh, she talks God. about it to this day that's wild they have one right? One thing can. One thing triggered her and made her move on and look at her today, you know, like she got her master's since then. So mm -hmm. I admire it. Okay, Elijah, sounds good. We will um we'll talk next Monday, I guess. Yeah. Monday's a good day for me. So because I'm off out of the space, so I'm in my own space here. Okay. See you next Always Monday. wonderful talking with you. Always. Have a good day. All right. Thank you.